How do you feel about the prep to pro role in 2006? I mean, granted, we've seen some guys like LeBron James and uh, Kobe Bryant succeed going from high school to college. Not every kid's like that. Can Emmanuel Mundia have been one of those guys if that rule wasn't in place? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I, I, I think we've talked about this before. Um, I want it to be like baseball, you know, because the golfer can do it. Jordan's out there playing golf, doing pretty well. Tennis players do it, musicians do it, entertainers. Um, I would like it to be like high school, like like baseball, but I wish there was a board together in the NBA that could say, hey, you know, Emmanuel, you can do it. You're good enough. You're going to be drafted in the top five or ten. But if they go to school, let them stay three years. Um, because I think that there's great coaching in college basketball. The happiest years of kids' lives, even the guys I coached in the NBA were when they went to college. And if you're going to go for two or three years, you're definitely going to go for the right reasons. You're going to try to get your degree. And there's life after basketball. But in Emmanuel's case, I don't think we would have been able to recruit him. I think he would have gone to the NBA. Um, but, you know, most people are telling me now that they're really trying to get two years, which I think would really help. I think it would help the college game. I think it would help the pro game. And most importantly, it would help the kids. Do you think there's any way that Emmanuel playing overseas and, and you know, not, you know, being here with you or anything like that might hurt his draft stock eventually when it comes to it? He's got all the talent in the world, but, you know, being over in Asia anyway might hurt him. Well, I, I don't want to see him. I might get in trouble for this. I don't want to see him go to Asia. You know, uh, I want, I, I don't think it's going to hurt his draft, draft status. You know, uh, Tyler did it and Jennings did it. Didn't work out great for them. Manuel's different. He's got, he's got great support from his family. Um, I'm confident he's going to get in a good situation. And there's, there's some great coaching over there. Um, maybe if he went to Asia or China, I don't know if we would have seen him a lot. But I think the exposure he'd get, you know, playing in Europe, I think, you know, most people are going to watch him. And I, 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 you know, let's face it. Played in the Global Games, played in Jordan Classic, played in the McDonald's game. A lot of people know me. I've been bragging about him, and I, and you know, I'm not just saying this. I really believe he's ha he has a gift. Um, I'd be really surprised if he's not the first, second, or third pick in the draft. He's he's that special.